What's going on guys and gals and all you Fallout 3 and SWT gaming fans out there, welcome to another Let's Play that, well shall I say another, I haven't done one for quite a while, but uh, welcome to the world of Fallout 3, now Fallout 3, if you haven't played Fallout 3, one, where have you been over the past few years, if you've never heard of the Fallout games, again, where have you been? Uh, if you haven't played Fallout, you have to go back and play the original two, which were awesome, originally on the PC. Fantastic games, all the Fallout games are fantastic. But, I've um, been wanting to do this for quite a while, and we was going to do this as a team. Uh, so that included me, Jake and James. Uh, Tom's on holiday at the moment, so he'd probably join in at a later period, but we decided not to now. So I'm going to do it myself, because I have a new controller, yay! I can finally start playing with a controller. Um, as you can probably hear in the background, wonderful clickiness. So yeah, I'm finally playing with the controller. I am signed into Xbox Live as well at the same time. So if you do get any messages coming up, sorry about that. I'm also signed into Steam. So um, sorry if that goes up as well, as you can see there. So sorry about that, guys. But uh, yeah, welcome to the World of Fallout 3. Um, this is the Game of the Year edition, so it's probably going to be quite a long let's play. I've been wanting to play Fallout 3 for ages now. Again, as I've already finished it once. Everyone on the S Plus uh, crews finished it at least once. So we're gonna jump straight into it. Uh, I am gonna continue from my last save. The reason being is because the actual vault bit is absolutely terrible. I hate doing the vault bit, and I've actually skipped ahead to actually come out into the wonderful wide world of the wasteland, and it seems to be running all right, which is good. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna continue down. That's 200 XP. We will get to level up. And where is my level? There it is. Now straight away, getting to get some points into medicine. We're gonna whack it up to 40. Reason being is because the more the higher medicine skill you have, the uh, the better your stim packs doing things like that. Uh, I'm gonna get all the speech up as well at the moment. Get that up to 40 and put that up to 20 or 21. Uh, excuse me. The reason being is because obviously speech later on can actually come can come in handy. It can avoid you doing quests, uh, which is not a good thing, but it's also, but it is a good thing at the same time. The reason being is because, say for example, I can't remember a, a specific one off the top of my head. That is my little brother, <laughs> who's literally upstairs as we speak. He's just come online. But um, it can basically help you uh, to do a full quest in the space of like three seconds. And you still get the achievement for it and things like that, which is really, really good. You can see you guys steam as well, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, we're going to go for intense training again, and we're going to put it into charisma to, again to be able to get our speech and barter skills up, and that is it. So we're going to head towards Megaton, which is there, I think. Yeah. And we are definitely going to have to put Galaxy News Radio on. God, this control is a bit sensitive. Just warning as well, there probably is going to be quite a bit of singing in this Let's Play from 100 percent because the songs in this game are so awesome. Old songs, but really, really good songs. And I hope Donald didn't take far damage from that. Absolutely massive. Sorry, though, guys. If you guys actually haven't played this and seriously, go and buy it. I should have bought it on a Steam sale. The, the map is absolutely huge. And the main story quests, or the main story, can last you uh, anything up to seven hours if you're just doing main story, or it can last you the hundreds of thousands of it. Well, not hundreds of thousands, but hundreds of hours. And after a fact, uh, James um, has actually played Fallen New Vegas for 165 hours. This is actual uh, longest game that he's actually played on Steam. And Jake's uh, flat on this uh, on the PlayStation. Or has he? No, it's New Vegas that it's platinum. Or it's not Fallout 3. Is it? I can't remember actually. I'm going to have to double check the room. But we are now in Megaton. Yes, I am indeed. I ain't seen one of those jumpsuits in a long time. Oh, hi. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff. And mayor too, when the need arises. I, can see I don't know mm. why, but I like you, boy. Thanks. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Holler. 
It's a nice friendly thing to go and well managed. I am going to be playing this game with good karma as fast as I can. You treat my I hate nice playing ball out in bad karma. It's horrible. Like. It makes you feel so bad. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? There is indeed. Um, let's discuss this bomb. <laughs> nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. I will do that indeed. Uh, I know my way around Megaton pretty much. Let's discuss this bomb. What about it? Actually, it? Gets his, um, actually be able to get his uh, quest. And hell, oh. Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam. They worship mm -hmm. the damn thing. Why? You think you... Oh, if you get the job done... That's pretty Let's steep. Yeah. Uh, fine. Uh, do it and you'll get your money. Don't screw up, though. Or we'll all regret it. No, you won't. <laughs> well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Yep. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Moriarty. Just watch yourself. Okay, now, let me show up. Uh, that's basically it. Mind you. I will. Got my eye on you. Don't do anything. Yes, boss. Okay. Uh. The story is basically you live in a vault. It's a post-apocalyptic world. You basically hey. live in a vault, and your dad escapes, and you're basically going after him to find him. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. So I need to get that up before I can come back. I will come back and do that another time. Uh, I think it's better to go and see upstairs. The clinic. Uh, I don't think we need any stim packs just yet. I've got quite a few at the moment. Um, no, I won't. We've got 16 at the moment. Uh, so it's not too bad. We've not really got a lot of weapons, so we can go to the shop for them if we need them. I'll try and fix the frame rate issues. Maybe it's just a bit of initial lag, but I'll see if I can sort this out. Here we go. The creator, so the creator side supply. In here, we actually get another quest as well called the Wasteland Survival Guide by this young lady here called Moira. Hey, Bain. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Yeah, gosh, it really is Good work. to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. Mm -hmm. What I really do is mostly tinkering and research. That's what she said. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Yep. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time. A runaway dad, huh? Mm. I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Nice Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, what? The armored vault 101 jumpsuit. Okay, what, what is this book you're working on? Well, it's Wait, a I'm dangerous place there. out there in the wastes, right? Yep. People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. What do? For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Mm. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. Mm -mm. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm. Oh, really? Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, Anywhere. the dangers of radiation, Everywhere. how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Everywhere. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Um, give me food. Well, food and medicine. Food Everyone and medicine. needs them once oh, in a while, right? Very, very so important. they need a good place to find them. 
There's an old super duper mart not far from here. Which is actually filled with gold. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay. Oh, great. Food is most important. But see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So what you have with Absolutely. You. Right, uh, we can actually sell stuff to Moira. So I'm gonna sell her the shit I've put in there. The BB gun, the baseball bat and the police baton. Because we don't really need them at the moment. Uh can probably get rid of them now. And that and that. Um Uh, sugar, Good hunting. I'll buy whatever you're selling. Okay, right, let's put this uh, new jumpsuit that we've got on. Um, there we go. Very, very quick from transition from inside to out. So that's how you turn that on. That's how you put away your guns. Hold the X button. Okay, okay, well, now we have some more quests. We have the power of the atom, which is which is kind of easy. We can do that one or two ways, but like I said, I'm probably going to be doing it the uh, the good karma way because in a second when we go into this uh, into this uh, saloon. You actually get uh, the best of the bad side to it, which is that guy over there. Yes. Uh, my my, just when I had all but given up hope, my dear boy, I'm very happy to make you. I'm not. I am Mr. Burke. Are you? And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. No, I am not. And makes you a rather valuable individual. As you wish. <laughs> I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton. No interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete. The last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to... Go away. Mm. And you are going to see that it does. Oh, I'm gonna... No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this... I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Well, the cool thing about this is... Is that the best you... Okay, fuck you then. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor. Is that the oh, best... Oh, really? I advise you against that particular course of action. If... Oh. I see. I... Yeah, go on. Fuck off. The weird thing about that, or the kind of cool thing about that, you can actually do that, but if you do that before you do the main story, you can actually really fuck yourself over. Because you have to actually come into Megaton to do some stuff to be able to continue in the story. So you've got to do that. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Go. <laughs> You're not gonna hit me. Yell at me. Yell at me. Not even berate me a little bit. Nope. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin. And these are ghouls. Obviously, they're the ones like that are single men. I'm glad to uh, see some are evil, some are not. We'll probably see a few ghouls shortly. Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Thanks. See, I have no game camera. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. 
Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Okay, I will do. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for e <laughs> Gob. See, now that's where actually having a speech skill will come in handy. Nova over here. Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? And Do yourself a um, favor. I keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass. Sorry, kid. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty. It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. She's actually a hooker. Woo! Yes? Yes. But we have to find Moriarty, who I think's upstairs, actually. Let's go upstairs. Very, very detailed environment for the game. No one. Oh shit, no. Crap. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, nothing really much around. But yeah, you can't really destroy Megaton if you really, really want to. But it's to be. It's better to be safe than sorry, really, because if you destroy it when you need it, then it's really... Don't look at me like that. Going. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of everything, this backwards little bird. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. My God, it's you. <laughs> the little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time. Do we know him? Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Where do you find it? Your father you brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Mm. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Yep. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We <laughs> die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you. Hmm? And what's that supposed to mean? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. Well done, and thanks. And I won't be here talking to you, otherwise. Well, and like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So? All right, kid. If you don't have the caps to pay for the info, go on. Eager, eh? Good. I like that. It's nice to have a door in this. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. Right. Careful in DC now. Those super mutants. Super mutants are a pain problem? in the ass, but we'll come to them later on. No, 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 no. I don't want to wait. Where is Springvale? It's that direction. That's okay, let's do it. So, usually having the um, speech ability actually can actually help you do that straight away. But um, obviously, I failed it there, so.
we're just going to make the most of it and it gives me time to actually roam around and get used to playing it again plus going on a mooch is a good thing as well because it gets XP XP excuse me and then when we when we level up again which will be shortly Were you just kidding about disarming that thing? listen you I'll shoot you in your face and when we level up I'll get my explosives up so we can deal with the bomb and then that'll be another level up straight away so see tactics tactics usually I said usually there's a guy sat around there um, actually wanting fresh water so let's go this way uh, so that's cool. You want to stay away from that because that's radioactive. Because I'm radioactive, radioactive. What's that? Oh, come on, guy, it's news radio. What are you doing? Greetings again, sweet America. This I know, I'll listen President to that Enclave radio Henry for a bit. I don't really like listening to like Enclave radio because it's really shit. But oh well. We live in we'll an age of poverty, greed, violence, destruction. Indeed, the very seat of the federal government, Washington, you have to be careful, DC, as far as I remember, there are, to what like, is now one known as room. the Capital Wasteland. Oh, nuclear calls. The Capital Wasteland. The Capital Wasteland. How did it come to this, America? You How this. did your leaders allow the most powerful nation on Earth to die? Me. The answer is really okay, so quite here. simple. Incompetence. Incompetence. Who the hell are you? Hmm. Where'd you come from? Did more we put our trust yes. That bastard. He's a... He's a liar! I'm tired of hiding out here like some kind of wasteland dog. Nothing? I... I guess you're right. There we go. See, now I had 400 bottle caps for that. I mean, that's... That's really, really helpful. I will not make the mistakes of my predecessors. When John Henry Eden builds a country... It See, the Enclave the radio is just basically a lot of political stuff, and it's really, really America boring to listen to. But something's better than nothing, I suppose. Apart from my boring old voice as well. Of course you do. As President oh. of the United oh, States, I don't know. Well, you don't, have I don't my actually think we will, I will be able to get a level up, actually. Never. Uh, what we can do is we can actually go to the super duper mount, which is literally just over there, get some kills and come back and actually be able to deal with the bomb. I will help that guy at some point. Right. You can only, you can only deal with... There we go. That is a great dog. Ow! We are still beating. Mm, I know. There we go. Listen to this. The boys and girls of the Brotherhood of Steel continue to fight the good fight. See, the Brotherhood of Steel. Now, we will come across them later on. And they are absolutely amazing. You can become part of the Brotherhood of Steel as well. With this being the game of the year edition, I've actually got five DLC packs to go along with this. And it makes the game last a hell of a lot longer. One of them being called Broken Steel. Uh, believe it or not, and um, it does come in handy. And back he comes. So, are you just th good? I hope she got what you took care of our little last. How about you just? It's called economics, kid. I told you the favor would. Fine, no, that wasn't so. Your dad came through here. Didn't stay long. Said he had some important business to attend to and headed off to the city. Something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good hunting. Thanks. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping no, about no, no, fighting no, no. some good fighters. He is good. Something. A bunch He's of not a loony bin. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Exactly. Sorry hey, about this, guys. Two I seconds. Here you go. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, let's go. So now we have the ability to... Oh, we don't, we don't have the ability. We can go everywhere we want to. But now we have the quest to go towards 
DC, which is a fair amount away. But on the way is a super duper map, so if we can go there and be able to do the quest for Moira Burn as well, so that's good. And at the super duper map, we will come across some enemies as far as I remember. I am playing this on normal difficulty as well guys by the way, because it is a very very long game. So I will be doing Excuse me. I will be doing a lot of jumping in this, it's just because it's fun. <laughs> it gets you places quicker and it's fun to do. But luckily for us now, we will because we're moving closer inland, we will actually get a better signal coming from Galaxy News Radio, so it shouldn't be too boring on the way there. This game does require it. This, this, you can't. You have to walk everywhere, guys. You can fast travel, but you have to actually discover the locations first. So you can't just fast travel anywhere. Excuse me. And we have music. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, cause it's quite quiet. I'll tell you what do. There we go. Oh, didn't see that. Oh, doggy. Aha! You couldn't get me then though, could you? Bam, bam, bam. Um, because we missed. Lol. Has he got anything? Nope. Or nothing useful on him anyway. Dog meat's okay, but... Not nothing really. We can kind of save ourselves for when we get to uh, super duper map, which is just there. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even click B then. That was weird. Mm -hmm. This song always reminds me of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So, um, not is it? I don't know. Song like The Wizard of Oz. As I remember, there are enemies around this corner. Could be wrong. I could be right. Guess there is no one. We'll definitely take the new callers because they can go in handy. Hello. Oh, looks like I just killed them all. Take them. Definitely take them. Definitely take the Chinese pistol off them as well. Um, is there anyone else that's been killed, or is that it? Oh, it looks like it's it, to be honest. Uh, definitely take them. Oh no, because they can cut the, the. There's an actual quest called the Nuka. Um, what's it called? Nuka. What's it called? Um, Nuka. And it has something to do with the Nuka Cola Quantums, anyway. And Nuka Cola Quantums are basically like blue versions of a normal Nuka Cola, which is cool. And as far as I know, I'm not going to say there are enemies in here, so. Oh. We should probably get leveled up at some point during this. Holy crap! Get the crap out of them. Could have got some good amount of ammo. Love the torso. One, two, three, four. Didn't really do much damage, so let's go. Uh, Start off shotgun, do we not mind if I do? In fact, the health isn't too low just yet, but I will use a stim pack. Very, very short. Where's that body that I killed? It's very simple. Only have a problem with the sawn off shotgun. You, you can only use two shots from the tail. That's speaking of which, so let's actually use it, shall we? Since we've just got it, we might as well use it. Ow, 
Was that really necessary? Okay, that was harmless. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. I do need to use a stun pack very quickly. I die, I die, I take out the guy with a song I'm sure I don't because this guy's not in the Because you can just jump out of the way of his baseball bat. LOL! I missed from the room. I hit every single one, but I didn't die, so... LOL. Right, switch the radar. Definitely take the frag grenade off him. Okay, where's that guy with a song of shotgun? Where is he? Is that him? There he is. If I take the psycho, they'll take the son off shotguns as well. Brass knuckles we can take. Um, in fact, we will pick up all these actually. Because they can come in under and we can get a full. Which I, well, I, well, I was going to explain. I missed that, so it's good to pick that up. What we can do now, guys, the cool thing about it is it's really bad for a red uh, We can actually use these ones to be able to uh, repair themselves. So, but that for example, so uh, that one, that one, and that one. So now that goes up to 10, and it steadily increases its value quite a bit. But, uh, we'll keep the armor jumpsuit for now. Because it is a good jumpsuit to have. Sorry, this frame rate drop. Oh, two headshots, nice. Indeed. To be fair, guys, that's probably my uh, computer telling me that I'm not enough space. Um, in this area. So I know where there is some stuff. Well, it's over here. So our actual objective is to find some medicine, and as far as I know, there's some over here for lock picking, which we will be able, to, which we will be leveling up at some point. Completely forgot the laser pistol was here. So that's, that was definitely coming under. Take another laser pistol. Bottle cap mine. Which we won't actually unlock until later on. Because you have to actually get the... Um, what is it? You have to actually get... Um, uh, blueprint for it. So much for me, very easy. The cool thing about this is you can just come back in and out of it and keep trying it again. Unfortunately, I only have eight bobby bins. I do it really slowly. Ooh. So we're in the right area. Okay, that was actually the bonus. Energy cells are useful because you can use them in the laser pistol. And apparently, my controller just turned the last light on. All by itself. So, what, guys? I'm, not, I'm probably going to end it here, actually, because uh, I'm running out of space and my frame rate drops just absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying it so far. I'm going to be loving it. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Like, if you're enjoying the series so far, guys, please do leave a comment down below and leave a like as well, and I will pump these videos as fast as I can. Make them. Three dogs. I'm three dogs.